Hi, this is Marty Carter with Sumner One Service. We're gonna set up account codes on a Konica Minolta BizHub. Press the utility button from the main menu screen. Then press administrator settings and enter the admin password. And press okay. From here, I'm gonna to touch option four, user authentication account track. And I'm gonna choose authentication type on the older versions, you will see general settings. Account track, on, account track input method, choose password only. Press OK. Are you sure? Yes? OK. Next thing we have to do is enter some codes. Press account track settings, account track registration, Choose an empty square and press edit. Here you'll enter a password. It can be from one to eight digits. I'll use a four digit password. Confirm the password and press okay. Next we'll enter the name. Press okay. Okay again. We've entered our first password. We could press box number two and continue to edit and create new passwords. That's how you set up the account codes on the Konica Minoltas. One other thing people will ask, how do you print the reports of the totals at month's end? Menu, Utility, Admin Settings, OK. Option four, user authentication account track, print counter list. Start, and that will print out the list of each code and the totals for each code. Now I'll show you how to enter account codes using the web interface. The first thing we want to do is get the IP address of the machine, place it into the address window of the web browser, and press enter. That will bring up the web connection. First thing we want to do is log in as an administrator. And enter the admin password. Okay, once we're in, we're gonna click where it says user authentication account track. Here we are. You're gonna notice two things that I always focus on, user authentication and account track. We wanna use account track today. We wanna to track accounts, either individuals or departments. User authentication I might use if my intent was to only block color because color is much more expensive. You don't care about the black and white prints and copies so much. You just want to govern and block color. You're gonna use user authentication. Today, we wanna to use account track. I'm gonna turn this on, and typically I'll use password only, so you only have to enter a password when you approach the copier itself. Then click OK. OK again. The system is now on, so now we need to enter some account codes. Click where it says account track setting. New registration. Here we'll enter a password. I'm gonna use four digits, you can use one through eight. Make it numeric. And then the name of the account holder, Joe. Now, if you wanted, you could restrict Joe, for instance, he can only make black copies, or he can only make black prints. You could also govern how many he could make if you wanted. Typically, I don't do that. I'll click OK, and I've created one account. I'm gonna continue registering. 
another password. Retype it. Enter the name, Mary. I'm gonna allow Mary to do whatever she'd like. She's an administrator. Okay, I'll click return because of that process you can just continue to enter new uh, names. Again, you can use departments if you prefer, but that's how you enter the codes. Once you're finished entering the codes, it's on. If you walk up to the copier, you will be prompted to enter a password to use the machine. Also, you'll find people now might not be able to print because you must embed that four digit password that I created into the printer properties. So when you print from a computer, it will get rejected now because there is no password being sent with the data to be printed. Here's how we enter that password into the properties of the print driver. I'm gonna pull up all my printers. I got a bunch. Here's the copier that I'm using here. I'm gonna right click on that and I'm gonna select printer properties. Here I'll go to preferences. Once here, first you gotta make sure you have the correct driver installed. If your print driver does not look like this, you do not have the printer specific driver loaded and account track will not work at all. I have the correct print driver loaded. I'm going to click on the basic tab. I'm looking for authentication slash account track. I'm going to click here and here it's important that I enter that four digit password. The name is unimportant, just the password. If you want, after you enter the password, you can click verify. It'll should, it should say verification. It has succeeded. I'll say, okay, I'll hit apply. And okay, that code is now embedded into the properties of my print driver. When I print, it will be printed with that code and my job will successfully print out. Now, oftentimes a customer, or I'll be in a situation where multiple users are using one PC. So it's not easy to continue to go into the properties of the print driver and change passwords. One option you have that I like is under settings, authentication settings, you can enable a pop-up authentication dialog when printing. That way, whoever's logged into a computer, when they select print, a window will appear asking them to enter their password. Perfect for an environment with multiple users on one PC. That's a brief overview of account track using the web connection. I'm Marty Carter. Thank you.